Good evening, dear Kuwait television viewers, and welcome to another new episode of our weekly program, Kuwait in 30 Minutes. The English News and Political Programs Department has prepared a variety of reports that highlight the main events recently taking place across Kuwait. Our committed team of reporters is constantly engaged in numerous events with the objective of keeping you, dear viewers, aware of the latest information, regulation policies, and to be up to date with the local scene. Tonight's program includes a variety of reports such as embassy celebrations celebrating national days, cultural events of local and international institutes, and other events that must be of interest to you, our loyal audiences. So please stay tuned for more coming your way this evening. Dear viewers, uh, thank you once again for joining us uh, with your favorite show, Kuwait in 30 Minutes. Inspirational uh, guest speaker Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Thani shared his experiences as being amongst the first ever GCC Everest climbers in the Experience Adventure event. It is the only platform in Kuwait that brings together adventure service outfitters, product providers, and professional adventurers in one place. The event is uh, specifically designed to inspire as well as equip both experienced travelers and first-timers to reach new heights. More details in this report with Tislim Rasul. Experience Adventure is an event specifically designed to inspire as well as equip both experienced travellers and first-timers to reach new heights. From workshops teaching technical skills to speakers sharing their life of adventures to outfitters and product providers making travelling the world safe and easy for everyone. Workshops included covering basic climbing skills including knot tying, belaying, rappelling and safety procedures as well as workshops focusing on the negative impacts of our disconnect from nature and our ever-growing dependence on cities, exploring the philosophical aspects of the relationship between humans, nature and the outdoors. The highlight of the event was from inspirational talks from the first ever GCC Erevis climbers. Sheikh Mohammed Al Thani is amongst the few hundred climbers over the past 25 years to summit the Seven Peaks. He is the first Qatari to reach the top of the world, summiting Mount Everest in May 2013. Through faith, perseverance, persistence and willpower, he pushed his limits and achieved what he thought was impossible. The seven summits are the highest mountain on each continent of the world. Uh, this dream started in 2008 uh, in a visit to Nepal. Uh, it was a river rafting trip uh, where my guide, uh, his name was Madan, um, was talking about Nepal and the beauty about Nepal and the landscapes of Nepal and of course um, the, the, the crown jewel of Nepal which is Everest. So um, the more he spoke about Everest the more uh, intrigued I, I was about climbing it and I told him I'm going to climb this mountain. So he left and he told me you're a Bedouin from the desert. What do you know about climbing? So uh, basically I started climbing because someone told me I can't. And uh, five years later, I stood on top of that mountain. But it took me five years of hard work, five years of sacrifice, five years of uh, determination, uh, thousands of hours in the gym, climbing many other mountains of the world, uh, just to be able to, 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 to stand on top of Everest. This evening, we have seen here the launch of Experience Adventure. We've seen a variety of workshops showing technical skills, as well as documentary filming and inspirational speeches by Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Thani. Reporting from Marina Waves, this is Tislim Rasul for Kuwait in 30 minutes. Thank you, Teslima. The International Committee of the Red Cross ICRC Regional Mission in Kuwait and the Gulf Cooperation Council celebrated its 25th anniversary in an event reflecting the ICRC's strong relationship with Kuwait. The event brings together all entities supporting the ICRC over the last 
25 years in its humanitarian mission to alleviate the suffering of many people due to war, armed conflicts, and natural disasters. More details in the following report by Hiba Abdurrahman. speech marking the 25th anniversary of their presence in Kuwait, the Vice President of the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, Christine Burley, said that the role of Kuwait and its generous contributions in the humanitarian field over the years will not be forgotten. Burley added that all of these contributions came from the directives of His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Subah. She expressed her pride of what the ICRC offices in Kuwait and the GCC countries had achieved. ICRC office in Kuwait was established after the Kuwait liberation in 1991. For his part, Assistant Secretary of State for International Organizations Nasr al Hin said that ICRC operated over one century to help refugees and displaced persons wherever they might be. He added that the committee continued its work in accordance with the international humanitarian laws to overcome the non-stop wars, disasters and wars. Meanwhile, Chairman of Kuwait Red Crescent Society, KRCS, Dr. Hilal Sayer, said that reality imposes an increasing burden on the ICRC for being one of the most effective mechanisms in alleviating pain and damage caused by armed conflicts. KRCS gives great importance to the areas of cooperation and coordination with the ICRC for benefiting humanity and serving the needy and affected people around the world. From the Sheraton Hotel, this is Heb Abdurrahman reporting for Kuwait in 30 minutes. And in our next report, the Embassy of Palestine in Kuwait celebrated its national holiday. The event was held at the JW Marriott Hotel. And the celebration was attended by various ambassadors and several embassy officials. With special guest of honor, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Khalid al Jarallah. Our reporter has more. The Palestinian National Day celebrates the Declaration of Independence in a statement written by the Palestinian poet Mahmoud Dawish and proclaimed by Yasser Arafat on November 1988. I am glad to be here with our uh, brothers, uh, the Palestinian uh, brothers here in Kuwait, uh, to participate uh, with them in this uh, national occasion. Uh, I am proud to be here uh, and uh, this to express that we are supporting Palestine, we are supporting this issue and we are uh, very keen really to promote and to enhance the relations between Kuwait and Palestine. We are looking forward to see the peace process in the Middle East moving. We are supporting this peace process. Uh, according to the uh, international uh, efforts and according to the uh, resolutions of the Security Council and the uh, Arab initiative in the Middle East. So uh, we wish all the best to our brothers in uh, Palestine and also we wish all the best to the Palestinian ambassador here in Kuwait and his colleague. It had previously been adopted by the Palestinian National Council, the legislative body of the Palestinian Liberation Organization. It was read at the closing session of the 19th Palestinian National Council to a standing ovation. This is the 29th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence for the uh, Palestinian people, where in, uh, it has been launched in, in, in 1988. Uh, in Algier and uh, the uh, Palestinian revolution has been uh, moved or transferred from uh, a revolution into a state building. 
uh, we are celebrating this uh, occasion uh, today, uh, hoping that it will it, uh, it will be uh, another step towards uh, the uh, total independent Palestinian state, uh, inshallah, in, in the uh, very soon. Upon completing the reading of the declaration, Arafat, as chairman of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, assumed the title of President of Palestine. In April 1989, the PLO Central Council elected Yasser Arafat the first president of the state of Palestine. This is Jislim Rousseau for Kuwait in 30 minutes. The Embassy of Oman in Kuwait recently celebrated its national holiday. The event was held at the Jumeirah Hotel and the celebration was attended by various ambassadors and several embassy officials and several special guests of honor. Our reporter has more. The national holiday in Oman observes the birthday of Sultan Qaboos bin Said. His ascension to the throne took place on July 23, 1970. National day events include parades, pageantry, a question show, marine festival, fireworks, and every five years, an elaborative military show. There are good bilateral relations between the Sultanate and Kuwait, and the cooperation between them in various fields to serve the joint interests of the two countries and their people. Today, actually, we are so happy and uh, we are also happy for our uh, brothers in, in Oman and we congratulate uh, His Majesty the Sultan for his uh, National Day the 47th. Uh, this National Day is for Bahrain and for the GCC states so by all means we congratulate our good brother in Oman. Besides various cultural, diplomatic and administrative ties, the bilateral trade relations between the two are more than $700 million, according to the recent statistics, which is an increase of more than 40% compared to that of some five years ago. Kuwait's exports to Oman touched approximately $200 million, in while Oman's exports to Kuwait amounted to more than $500 million. The total volume of Kuwaiti investments in Oman in 2014 reached nearly $1 billion, over various sectors including services, construction, hotels, real estate, pharmaceutical industries, medical devices and food industries. This evening, His Excellency, the Ambassador of Oman to Kuwait, hosted a grand celebration in commemoration of their National Day. The event was attended by several ambassadors and embassy officials as well as special guests. Reporting from the Jumara Hotel, this is Tisli Mursal for Kuwait in 30 minutes. Desmana Diabetes Institute hosted an open invitation to the public in celebration of World Diabetes Day 2017. The day was filled with many entertaining as well as informative activities for all family members. More on the event coming your way. Man Diabetes Institute hosted and celebrated the World Diabetes Day 2017. It was a family event open to the public with both the diabetic and non-diabetic attendees. The day was filled with many exciting and informative activities including complimentary medical screening, complimentary nutritional consultation, face painting, balloons and entertainment for the whole family. The aim of the event was promoting awareness, education and prevention of diabetes. So the World Diabetes Day, and this is a very special day because that's when Banting, the actual founder of the insulin discovery, happened back in the 1921, is his birthday. And that's why it's celebrated as the World Diabetes Day. 
So, of course, the World Diabetes Day is very special because diabetes is the only disease has the united resolution out of non-communicable diseases. World Diabetes Day. And the idea of it is to increase the awareness and the prevention of the diabetes. The theme for World Diabetes Day 2017 is Women and Diabetes. The World Diabetes Day campaign will promote the importance of affordable and equitable access for all women at risk for all living with diabetes to essential diabetes medicines and technologies, self-management education and information they require to achieve optimal diabetes outcomes and strengthen their capacity to prevent type 2 diabetes. Uh, we basically do patient education, uh, healthcare professionals education, we do community, we go out to the community whether it's schools or um, um, companies and to raise awareness about diabetes. The most important thing today, especially today, like a day like World Diabetes Day we're celebra celebrating here in, in the Institute, is to raise awareness about diabetes and to stop diabetes before it, you become diagnosed with it. And today I volunteered uh, for the World uh, Diabetes Day and I'm thrilled. Uh, this is my first time at this month and it's a very classy place. The reason I joined is because it's a common issue in Kuwait and uh, I really hope that in the future Kuwait, uh, Kuwait